For those of you who are newcomers to green roofs, here are some basics you should know. Basically, green roofs are engineered vegetated roof covers with plants and growing media, or the engineered soil, taking the place of a regular concrete, tile, or shingle roof. All roofs are designed to shed water and keep the building dry, right? Well, green roofs are no different. The most important aspect is that they are living, breathing roofs planted with many types of vegetation. Green roofs have been around in various forms since the fabled hanging gardens of Babylon, through Scandinavian sod homes, to the elaborate Rockefeller Center roof gardens built in the 1930s. The birthplace of modern day green roof technology is Germany, where these engineered systems were developed and have been tested for over 35 years, and where there's a lot of government support too. So imagine a lasagna-like layered system of materials covering the roof, engineered to keep the roof watertight and create an environment for plants to thrive. Here are a few representative material sections for a typical conventional or built-in-place green roof. These are complete systems for one-stop shopping where the companies offer warranties but you can also custom design one too, specifying the individual components. The number of layers and the placement vary from system to system and green roof type, but at the very least, all green roofs include a single to multiply waterproofing layer over the roof deck, drainage, a filter fabric, growing media or the engineered soil, and the most exciting part, the plants. Another way to create a green roof is with a modular system, which are individual trays set side by side on top of a watertight roof. Another modular option for planting a roof is to use very lightweight, thin mats, which are fully vegetated with low maintenance sedum and moss plants. They arrive rolled up and are installed like sod. There are advantages to all types of systems, hybrids and custom designs. And in terms of design, there are two main types of green roof assemblies, extensive and intensive although a green roof is often designed with features of both. Also called eco-roofs, extensive green roofs are thinner, lighter, and less expensive. They are used when the primary desire is for an ecological roof cover with no or limited human access. Extensive green roof plants must be high heat, drought, wind, and frost tolerant, self-regenerative in nature, and overall have low maintenance requirements. Typical plants are alpine ground covers like succulents and some flowering herbs, bulbs, grasses, and mosses range from 1 inch up to about 6 inches, and saturated weights start at about 17 pounds per square foot. Generally, extensive green roofs can be installed on slopes up to about 30 degrees, although there are green roofs with much higher pitches. Intensive green roofs, on the other hand, are more intricate and lush, and much heavier and deeper. They look more like a traditional roof garden because they are built on relatively flat roofs and a much wider variety of plants can be used like flowering shrubs, vegetable gardens and even trees. Architectural accents like waterfalls, ponds and all sorts of recreational areas are possible with an intensive green roof system and of course initial costs and maintenance requirements will be higher. Green roofs are a form of low impact development and mitigate the negative effects of a building's footprint by somewhat recreating the lost green space at roof level. Green roofs are used as stormwater management and act like sponges by absorbing rainwater, slowing and cooling it down as well as releasing cleaner runoff. They create a healthier environment by filtering air and binding dust particles, absorbing CO2 and other pollutants, and lowering ambient temperatures which then lowers the urban heat island effect with living, breathing plants through photosynthesis and evapotranspiration. Since living roofs are covered with engineered soil and plants, they keep the area under them cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter, reducing both heating and cooling energy consumption and costs. And because materials are buried, the green roof protects structural elements from UV rays and wind and temperature fluctuations, which in turn helps to double, triple, or more the life of the roof. So maintenance and avoidance costs are also avoided. Another major benefit is that planted roofs reintroduce flora and fauna into the concrete jungle and supply nesting and habitat areas for displaced and endangered birds and other wildlife. They also provide acoustical insulation and noise suppression and even reduce glare. So think of the marketing and goodwill opportunities for companies and governments who lead the way with ecological design. And very importantly, green roofs create new real estate by taking advantage of the usually forgotten and unused fifth facade of a building, its roof.